Hey guys, Volkswagen Sirocco, it's in for service MOT. Bonnet won't open on it, so we'll just have a free health check on it at the minute. Um, this tyre here, it's very poor condition, it's bald on that inner edge there, and the rest of it's not very good either. The rest of them look like they're fairly new. Back spring's a wee bit corroded, but I don't see. I think that's just the paint flaking off. Yeah. That's just the paint flaking off. I don't see anything broken. Um, so that one looks okay in there. They're quite rusty. Let's get quite rusty on the subframe and actually show you a wee bit of the sill. See, this bit's doing the same, right? This bit is really bad, look like at that. So, it's all the under seals coming off, so that would all need clean, treated, uh, and redone. These tyres are a wee bit warm, but they're not too bad. A wee bit warm. The bushes, but I can hear these banging. You can see they're all split there. Um, actually, I wonder if somebody's changed that and no fatted it right. It doesn't look like it's on the 50 pence piece, right? Same with that one. So it's not that, they're just knackered, you know, it's just knackered and that's turning in there. So, but when they get the cover off it, I can see just peeking in. So you got weight, the gearbox, we got weight up there. Uh, so I've not had the bonnet open yet, EGR valve at the back there, they're prone for getting wet as well and the boost hose drips on them so that's why they get wet. So, nothing really untoward, I've not found any broken springs in the front, the front pads and this look like they've been done, rear pads and this look like they've been done. Those springs again rusty but not broken. Um, so I think really for MOT I think just one tyre. Um, one tyre, I see it's missing some hubcaps, one tyre I think will get his bonnet open uh, and I'll need to check, I think it's up at 100,000 miles now or something like that, so I'll need to ask the customer uh, if he knows about the time belt, if that's been done on it, so. Bye, right, there you go, so thanks for watching guys, have not already, hit a big thumb, hit a subscribe. Have yourselves a great old Wednesday. Right, so I might try next taking the grill off. Damn you. I might try taking this off, because look. So another plate just like, seems to be bonded on, I think. So I've tried taking this off, but it's part of the bumper actually. It's a genius design again. It probably does separate somehow, but yeah, this plastic is all kind of attached to it. So I did the whole bumper off, but the latch is on the other side of the. You can see the cable up there. But there's no way I'm getting, even if I took this inner wing guard out, I'm not going to be able to get to anything because the cable is up there and the bottle's in the road. But where it goes after that, it maybe goes actually down the wing, to be honest with you. You know, the outside wing, so I might try and remove all of this gubbings. There's a screw in there, it's just slack, and it's, it is all damaged, eh? So that wasn't me, that's been like that. You can see it's been hit a million times. So it's been chunked there. Split that. This is all broke. That bit is all broke. Aye, that bit there is all broken. So this is just dangling. <laughs> so the push clip's lost its tension or something. There's a bit of oil there, I need to. I don't see anything run down, it's maybe spilled stuff that's got trapped on that cover. Uh, or crankshaft oil seal, but I don't think it looks active to be honest with you. Uh, so, aye. Uh, there's a big bit of foam and over the top of that crash bar as well, but I'd hope that I could get a hook or something to pick. If we look at this one up here, uh, I did this years ago, <laughs> I've just never fixed it, I've still got a wire hanging it, so I've got. It's hard to see, but you can just about see the latch. That's the latch up there, and I've got a wire on it because uh, the cable's broken. So that's worked for years. <laughs> uh, but this side, this one, it's on the other side. So that up there, the orange bit, you can see. If you can see it, there is an orange bit up there. That is a cable up there. So uh, I'll need to try and take this bit off now, I think. See if I can get my hand up and onto it. This bit is very slack in it, so it's actually damaged there as well. Actually, see it? A big crack there. So I might be better taking all this off and fixing it, to be honest with you. So I can at least I can get my hands on the latch now. The latch is up there. So I can't see what I'm doing, but at least I can get my hands to it. I think it's covered by all this plastic up here. Right, so it's covered, there's a load of plastic in front of it as well, so let's try and get onto something, find where it's been pulled from, if I can. So, if this is an electrical wire, or if this is a cable, 
I think one's an electrical wire and one's a cable. So, but I cannot feel anything at all in the latch to, to say, right, there we go, pull on this bit. And you'll be on to winner. Uh, I don't think this front. Bit of belly come off. Uh, does this seem like it? I probably need the bonnet open. Okie doke. Right, so, man, we actually, uh, a kind gentleman, one of my good customers, he came in and gave me a hand all day to try and get this open. So, we were, you can see where I was being bashing here, just try to, you know, shock it back into life. It's all rotten in there. It's all rotted to death. So, and the cable, it's probably been like that for a while, to be honest with you. The cable is actually free, but because of the force we've been putting on it, it's not to take a chance on it. So, the cable does seem to move back and forward. It's probably tight up there, but the latch is definitely knackered. Unfortunately, we had to take the bumper off it, right? I mean, take another bit of plastic off it. And then hopefully, you can get someone, because the nuts just spinning at the back. So, you can't even, until you take that bit of plastic off, you can't even get to, you can't get your socket on there. So, a bit of a mission, man, isn't it, for a bloody bonnet catch? So, and what happened was, is I managed to get another wing guard off and was doing it. Uh, and I managed to pull this off, I found it lying uh, down there, so what happens by the looks of it is the cable's just kind of interlinked together uh, and you put that in there and you put that in there now I've heard of this coming off and then people pulling the, the bonnet and going, oh Jesus, eh, Jesus, what's happening, it's not opening and this has become detached, so you can see there's two wee logs I will put some extra just to keep that on and to keep these cables in here I'm not sure if there's maybe a wee cover over the top of it I've not found anything, uh, anything else anyway, so we'll just we'll kind of modify it so that it can never come off, I think. So, I'm just going to get the rest of the cable to latch it now. Uh, we've got the wheel off up back up there. So, yeah. Absolutely no end of grief for Sirocco. Uh, the captive nuts, which are rib nuts, into the back of this plastic here, they're just spinning. So, obviously we've got a bit of damage here. Right, but the only other way to do it is take the full front off it, and I mean the full front, radiator, aircon radiator, fans, everything, lights, the whole shooting match, crash bar. So although that is a bit damaged there, right, that bit there, once it bolts on, will, no, stiffen it up, make it stronger. So I've managed to grip that one uh, with a 9mm, so I'm going to see if I can because I'll need to nut and bolt it and it's incredibly difficult to get into so it's a bit of a nightmare a bit of a nightmare right so eventually man so Sirocco you can just see how rotten that is man no wonder it was going to fail <laughs> so the lack of greasing uh, let's stay the bolt so obviously well I've still got a socket actually jammed in there so there's a 9 milli jammed up the back in there so I've tried having uh, swan neck deep, uh, eight mil, ten mil. I just ah, I'm just grip, man. Can't get me the mole grip, so I take that plate off. We want to bend that wee bit to get in, but Jesus, man, what a nightmare, man. So if anybody asks you to do a Volkswagen Sirocco, the bonnet won't open. It's one million pounds plus the VAT. So, well, it has been a bit of a mission, but hopefully, we we'll just grab those, put the latch in, put this bit back on, and then reassemble. Well, all of that, man, yeah, it's quite a bit off it, man, though. Hey, right, Volkswagen Sirocco. So, you can see the crustacean on that, man, eh? So, eventually, excuse me, what? Pulling on the cable, what I managed to do was, obviously, you can see the front bumpers off it. Uh, I took on a wing guard down, and then I had the cable kind of, you know, I was pulling it from underneath there. Um, the gentleman who owns the car, his dad, wanted to give me a hand, eh? Uh, and he's a big plant fitter guy, so I think we've seen the size of him. And to be honest, he was trying it as well, and we were battering away at it, spraying it with some lube, trying to get into it. And uh, eventually, I was pulling on it like all my weight on my heels, you know. Uh, and eventually, he just went, yeah, and it popped open. So, uh, but even after that, even getting it open, getting the latch out, I had to cut one of the bolts off it. Um, and then we had to get in the back, we had to take this off, bend the front of it up and get onto the back because there's captive nuts, so that's a 9mm, so if anybody is ever having bother with that, a wee quarter drive 9mm on a wee tiny crack bar. So I've locked the latch at the minute. 
and we heard that they are going so the only thing we can do I suppose is shut the bonnet uh, and hope it's all good so we shall set our camera I forgot the tripod for it so we shall see set it on that 30mm <laughs> and we'll There you go, on the BW Sirocco uh, bonnet latching cable, and you see what I mean, that's just clipped onto the body there, so that's a pretty bit extra, you can see I've put a load of grease in the cables as well, just keep them good. So, thanks for watching, have a big fun man, hit subscribe, have yourselves a great old Tuesday we're on to now.